Viewer discretion is advised. Yo, what's going on, you guys? So, I have bad news. We ran into our first issue. Um, as you guys know, I recently got my car, I want to say a month ago. Sometime in October, whatever. It's November now. Um, yeah, we ran into our first issue. So, um, I hear metal rubbing against metal every time I'm driving. So, that means our back brake is out on the passenger side. Um, I already checked it. I don't know how one side is gone and not the other. Like, um, I checked the driver's side rear. It's still good. But... The passenger rear is nothing. It's metal. That's that's really weird. I don't know how that happens. But um, we're going to take a trip to Advanced Auto Parts. And we're going to get some breakfast. And then we're going to change it out. So we're going to learn how to change brakes in a 350. I hope you guys are ready. We're going to have some fun. Now I got to get some tools. <laughs> May I please get the number four? Number four, the orange shoe? Yes. Okay. And uh, I'll get the meal. That'll be out? Yeah, that'll be it. 631, first one done. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You gotta start your day off with Wendy's. That number four honey butter, yo, that thing hit different. All right. Now on our way to the junkyard. I mean, Advanced Auto Parts, I'm tripping. All right, you guys, I just made it to Advance, and we're gonna um, get some parts and we'll be out. So before we change the brakes, I gotta address the elephant in the room. Check this out, I live in an apartment complex and they don't like you working on your cars here. Um, so, and if you do work on your car, you could get evicted. So what I like to do, I like to work on my car when the office is closed or on a Sunday. So, luckily today's Sunday, so we're gonna work on my car fast, ninja style, and hopefully we don't get caught, because I know, I don't know, maintenance be weird. I don't know, but I'm a smooth criminal. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing gonna happen. So, um, subscribe. Help me get a house or a garage and I'll give you guys content. I think that's an even trade, right? Makes sense to me. All right, let's go do this. It's 21. And I'm gonna just use a breaker bar because it's easier with it. And these are the brakes that I got from um, Advanced Auto Parts. They're the expensive brakes that they have. It cost like around 50 bucks. Yeah. So we're gonna loosen the lug nuts and then we're gonna jack the car up. So now that the lug nuts are all loosened, we're gonna jack the car up and then we're gonna put this tire in front of the um, front tire because we can't use the e-brake since we're changing the rear brakes. take off the top 14 and we should have access to changing our brakes you won't be able to see it but I'm gonna try my best to show you guys this right here 
Yeah. So that's what we're gonna take off the top boat. boat. I just used the breaker bar and I used the 14 and it's coming up. Alright, so this is the part I'm talking about. So I took out the top 14 bolt and after that the brake, you know, is supposed to just slide like that but for some reason it was stuck so um at that point um i had to take off the um 219 bolts just to take the whole caliper out which is a longer process compared to taking out the 14 on the top and having it slide like that um but um that's the l i took okay i lied you need a 19 and you need to take off the other bolt, which is not this one, but this one here, this one here, you need to take out to loosen um, the brake pad. You know, the other side wasn't like that. It was quick and easy. It took me five minutes, but this side, I was out of breath. It was a whole workout. You know, it took me like an hour. Um, so yeah, keep watching. It's like barely any space. My breaker bar could not fit in there. I'm sorry you guys, my um, camera died, but getting that last bolt, that um, 19 millimeter on the bottom, that thing different. I mean, that thing difficult, but there's no space to work. As you can see, it's this bolt right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that thing hard to get to. All my life I had to fight and I finally got it out. It never took me this long to do breaks, but I don't even think I want to do the other side because it wasn't bad. It was just this, but I'm gonna just do it anyway for peace of mind. And yeah, so now that I took it out, we're gonna take out the caliper. No wiggle it off. Um, I don't have a tripod for my phone, so hold on real quick. Yeah, I don't have a tripod for my phone and I need both hands for this, so um, I'm gonna put this somewhere. So guys, this is the caliper. So basically I did it the long way. Um, I took the two 19s from the back or you could take this off and it should just slide back like that. Yeah. Yeah, so with this, you take this back bolt off and the whole thing should just fall apart so i did it the difficult way 
never again. But yeah, here it is. I'm gonna show you guys the bad brake pad. Hold on. So here it is, you guys. It was basically metal with like no life left. I needed to change these for real, for real. Mm -hmm, right here, lots of life. And grease, organic grease for cars. That's weird, whatever. All right, I'm gonna put these on. So here's how it should look with the new pads. And then this grease is for this 14. If you only take out the top part, you just put the grease on there. And sometimes you need a C-clamp because this comes uncompressed. So you use the C-clamp to compress that. And then this should fit. Cause right now it's not fitting at all. So let me compress it and this is on it and then you just turn this and then it compresses this back. Now that it's compressed, it should just fit. So hold on real quick. And just like that, you guys, we're done. And yeah, this, this brake pad had lots of life, has lots of life. Is this job hard? No, no, of course not. Um, was it difficult for me? Kinda, don't know why. Usually never takes me this long, but um, it's cause there's no space. But good thing is we accomplished it. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm probably not gonna record it. And yeah, it's been an eventful day. And whenever you're taking off your tire or putting your tire on, um, make sure you do it in a star position. So here, 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 here. You know, you never do the, you know, same side and go, you know, all around. No, you do star. All right. Um, everything's pretty much back on. I'm gonna lower it. Make sure these are um, tightened. And yeah, I'm gonna just do the other side and get it over with. Driver's side is good, but I'm gonna just change it anyway, just so both of the rear, you know, could be new. I feel like it's a good thing to do, so. Um, I'm probably not gonna film this side as much because you guys got a lot of the other side and me struggling, so. So yeah, I'm gonna just do this one, all right? So check this out. This is what I wanted to do on the other side. I just unbolted this, the top part, and it just slides out. And then, and then the brakes are exposed here. This is what I wanted to do on the other side, but it was stuck and wasn't working for some reason. But um, when you do it like this, it takes less time and less of a headache. So, look how much life is on here. I don't need to replace it, but I'ma just replace it. Look at the back. Still lots of life. And then, these are the brand new ones. So, what you're gonna do, place it in the grooves. So, right here. And then the top, and then that's it. And then do the same thing for the back. Yep, so now they're both in. And now remember for the other side, you have to compress this so it can fit in. And then this one is done. This side took way less time than the other side. I'm so mad at myself, but whatever. All right, let me compress this so we can get out of here. So now, 
with this tool, see how it's on here? It's compressed, so you could take it out. And then boom, that's it. And then you tighten the top bolt and then your brakes are done. And that would honestly take you five minutes. If you take out the 219s and take the whole caliper out, that is when you'll take about an hour because ain't no space back here. So yeah, let me get that done. So, and you can also use this lube for the bolt. Slide it in, turn it, and then you're done. All right, you guys, I'm finally done. So the last thing you need to do after you do your brakes is you need to pump your um, brake pedal because right now you have no um, brake pressure or anything. So if you start your car and drive, you cannot brake at all. So pump your brake and then when there's pressure, you're all done. Just like that. Now it's good. You can stop. All right, look. I know these shoes are crusty. Um, these are my go downstairs and fix my car shoes. Don't worry. Um, I'm a sneakerhead. I got shoes. And guys, I know how to change brakes. Don't roast me for this. I know I took L's. What am I doing to my car? At least it can stop now without making noise. Yay. What am I doing in my life?